Mergers and acquisitions M&A. What is M&A? M- mergers and acquisitions M&A refer to the management, financing and strategy involved with buying, selling and combining companies. The M&A process, how mergers and acquisitions work, a merger and, or an acquisition, usually starts out with a series of informal discussions between the boards of the companies, followed by formal negotiation, a letter of intent, due diligence, a purchase or merger agreement, and finally the execution of the deal and the transfer of payment. Quite often these transactions can take six to nine months, smaller deals often take less time and bigger deals often take more time and they can be complex stocks from legal and accounting perspectives, particularly from legal and accounting perspective. For these reasons companies often hire investment bankers or other intermediates to facilitate merger and M&A transactions. These inter Mediaries can help sellers find buyers or vice versa. Conduct the negotiations for a client, class network, handle network, handle paperwork, handle paperwork and perform the due diligence on the other business. For this, the intermediary receives a fee, which is usually a percentage of the transaction amount. Why M&A? Why do companies buy other companies? The key idea after M&A is the creation of synergy. Before M&A is synergy, when two companies join in an optimal fashion, the resulting entity may have better econ- economies of scale, better use of resources and a more effective market presence, all of which potentially lead to more profit and sustainable competitive advantage. Thus, for many CEOs, navigating a successful merger or acquisition can be a crown jewel Financially, a company may acquire another company for a number of reasons. Let's go for a few common reasons why a company may acquire or merge with another company. Geographic expansion. For example, if Bank of the East is prolific in one geographic region but wants to search its reaches into another, expand its reach into another, it may purchase another bank, perhaps Bank of West or Bank of North, with strong roots in another region to quickly expand its geographic footprint. Not only does an acquisition like this let Bank of the East avoid having to painstakingly buy land and build new boroughs on its own, build new branches on its own, it also saves it from having to hire new employees, healthy build venture relationships and even establish its brand in a new region if it decided to keep the Bank of the West brand. Product line or business line expansion a company may acquire or merge with another company to diversify its revenue by expanding the number of product types it offers or getting into a new line of business altogether. For example, a soft drink maker could buy a company that specializes in making juice to expand its 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 its, its offerings its offerings or a computer Manufacturer could purchase a television manufacturer to expand into a new line of business offerings, counting offerings, technology or skill expansion. If a company has chaptered technology or highly skilled workers, a competitor may find it easy, faster and easier to access or merge with that company rather than recreate the technology or train less experienced workers patent clear patented technology brand power in all cases cases of acquisition a company may acquire or merge with another company to obtain a valuable branch and reap the benefits of that branch as its own when disney acquired the marvel brand for example it was able to use combine it was able to use combine its movie making talent with the valuable comic book brand to create a multi billion dollar lineup of superhero mu- movies it wouldn't be able to create on its own. Acquisitions are its business. Holding companies, hedge funds, private equity firms, and business development companies, BDCs, regularly acquire or buy large percentages of companies as an investment to grow. ICANN ent- Enterprises, for example, is a conglomerate holding company that has bought everything from airline and 
copper companies to pharmaceutical and casinos. These companies often steal companies. These companies I mean, these companies often get a big say in how the acquired companies are run, even earning seats on the executive board. It's important to note that not every M&A is successful, and quite often they fail if managers lack foresight. They take their eye off the ball, eye of the ball, by failing to tend to day-to-day -day business while working on motor acquisition, or cannot overcome challenges that a deal will present mergers and acquisitions can prove to be expensive mistakes for investors knowing how to analyze mergers and acquisitions can give them a greater chance to profit from price fluctuations that happen after the event the difference between a merger and acquisition a merger is a combination of two similarly sized companies combined to form a new company such as Exxon Mobil or BBVA Compass an acquisition occurs when one company clearly purchases another and becomes a new owner. This was the case with Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods. Google buying Motorola or CVS's purchase, Aetna.